Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's going on? So, some Earl Spence audio leaked from a phone conversation that, to be quite honest, I don't know if it's confirmed who he was speaking with on this phone conversation. Seems a bit shady that this shit was recorded. Um, I've heard that he allegedly was speaking with... Steven Espinosa, uh, shout out to Trill Boxing, uh, because I heard um, that was the first place where I heard the footage. Shout out to also Money Brown TV, because he did a video posting that footage as well. Not footage, but audio. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and it was very telling. It was very telling. The timeline, you can tell that it was over the, these last... Um, like couple of months, uh, I believe it was last month because Earl Spence was, if you would follow him on Instagram, he was just in uh, Disneyland with his family. And he said on the phone conversation that, you know, yeah, I just uh, got back from Disneyland with my family. And I remember him posting the pictures of, you know, him out there enjoying time with his fam. And, uh, you know, he was talking about the negotiations with Terrence Crawford and how, um, you know, all he wants is the Terrence Crawford fight. That's all he wants. He said, I'm not fighting. Keith Thurman was extremely adamant about that. He said, there is no other fight out there for me at 147. He said, this is the, the legacy fight. And this is the biggest money that I can get. This is the fight I want. And not only that, not only those obvious reasons why a fighter of Earl Spence's caliber would want to fight Terrence Crawford and, and why he would put that why he would be so keyed in on this fight as the only fight for him. The biggest and most, you know, coming from a guy from Texas that rep Texas hard, not only that, but rep Dallas, Texas hard and rock with Earl Spence heavy and just the way we move and how we think that competitive spirit. He said, I want to put this shit to bed and show everybody who's really the best in boxing. It's out of me and him. You know what I'm saying? I want to put this shit to bed and show everybody that who really the best. And he said these words. He said, and I got some shit to get off my chest. You feel what I'm saying? So the one with the menacing energy ever since Earl Spence beat up on your Dennis Ugas, ever since he got on the mic and said what he said, the, the shit flipped. All that boogeyman shit went out the window. The one who really got the menacing energy has been Earl Spence with the t-shirts that he put out. How he been adamant about running down on Terrence Crawford, how he told him when they was going back and forth when Earl Spence got on Bomac ass, posted his record and shit, and then Terrence Crawford get out there saying what he say. You feel what I'm saying? And Earl Spence told him, ain't shit gonna be funny when we get in that ring. You dig what I'm saying? Earl Spence has been wanting to beat the fuck out Terrence Crawford this whole time, bro. And this audio really is telling, bro, how Terrence Crawford been stalling and maneuvering around the fight. You dig what I'm saying? Because uh, Earl Spence said that, you know, Terrence Crawford, you know, he said he don't even trust his own lawyers. He said he want to talk to Al Heyman personally. This man paid lawyers. He got lawyers that handle contracts and shit like this, right? He said, fuck my lawyers. I want to talk to Al personally. Earl Spence said that he been, every, he called uh, Al Heyman consistently. Look, man, what's up with the fight like? All right, what's going on with it? What, I, I need this. I need this fight. I really want to make this happen. Like, can I get an update? It got to the point to where Al Heyman had to tell Earl Spence, chill out. Don't worry about it. We going to make it happen. We, we, we working on it. He said that Al Heyman said that uh, Terrence Crawford got so many questions for Al Heyman, way more questions that, than he ever had for Bob Aaron. You feel what I'm saying? You see how sneaky this shit is? You see how sneakily he moving. You did what I'm saying. Now that the fight is a real possibility. I got respect for Terrence Crawford's game in the ring, but I got to call this shit for what it is, man, because this move that he just pulled, man, he really just, he stole the biggest fight in the sport of boxing from the fans. And he being real selfish with the shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Now we got BLK Prime, no disrespect to them. And shout out to the brother Blue Blood Sports TV, no disrespect to the brother. You know I fuck with Blue Blood. You know what I'm saying? But these folks come out of nowhere, nobody ever heard of them. They say they got $10 million for you. You jump out the window to, to go to that. But you can't do the, the negotiation. You got to see records with, with, with Al Heyman. You got to talk to Al personally when you got lawyers and shit like that. You got all these questions prolonging a fight. And then Earl said he hoping that this is before they even got win of Terrence Crawford doing what he just did. Ter Earl Spence said we hoping that we can do it in January. You know why? Because Terrence Crawford done stalled the fight up until this point that the only realistic date, it, le it leaks over into 2023. So that's why you saw the article where it said uh, they uh, uh, PBC and then Al Heyman and Earl Spencer's team, they sent multiple revisions of the contract to Terrence Crawford because he got all these fucking questions. You dig what I'm saying? So then out the blue, he jumped out the window with this David Avenesian shit. Talking about he getting $10 million. Now, again, I don't know what them folks, I don't know where they got this bag from. I don't even care where they got the money from. I don't know if, if it's real. I don't know. Because Terrence Crawford, don't y'all find it funny that Terrence Crawford ain't posted the fight on his Instagram? Don't y'all find that, like, weird? I ain't seen Bud post shit on Instagram. Social media, he still ain't even responded to what Earl said on Twitter. I ain't seen Bo Mac post it. When, Earl, when Terrence Crawford had the fight with Sean Porter, they posted that shit immediately. It was official. I ain't seen Terrence Crawford post shit. About no David Avenesian. So all I'm saying, bro, this shit weird as hell. You dig what I'm saying? So whether the fight is legit or not, that's neither here nor there. You could have, if you was going to just jump out the window like that, you could have fought a Boots. Or you could have fought a Virgil. You could have fought somebody, you know, goddamn Keith Thurman, somebody. But you, you jump out there and you sneakily evade Earl the True Spence Jr. And that phone audio, if y'all want to go listen to it, you can go to Blue Bloods. You, you can go to uh, Money Brown TV page. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Money Brown TV. You can go to uh, Trill Boxing Talk. Shout out to Black Fight Fan, CC and 78. They played the footage on the end of the show on Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? So, that shit crazy, man. That shit crazy. Earl Spence won't nothing more than to beat the living shit out of Terrence Crawford. He want to put a beat down of a lifetime on him. The same type of beat down he put on your Dennis Ugas. And Terrence Crawford keeping it away from him. Keeping it away from him. He don't want to see that man be undisputed, man. I'm telling y'all, bro, it's something going on, man. It's some fishy shit going on. It's something that ain't right about this, man. All I'm saying, bro, look. Earl Spence is looking for that man, Terrence Crawford. That's what he want. That's who he want. And I'm going to tell you like this. He keep fucking around and find out that he ain't got nowhere to go to get no other big fight. He going to have to go up to 154 to get it. And it's going to be even worse up there. It's going to be even worse. He going to have to go up to 154 to see Earl Spence. Because I don't advise Earl Spence to sit around and wait on this dude, man. If Terrence Crawford can't get his shit together within the next two to three months, well... When I say two to three months, I'm speaking leading over into 2023. Like I said, by March, man, say, go ahead and make your move, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. How do y'all feel about the leaked audio from Earl Spence's phone conversation? I, I assume or suspect that by the time this video is uploaded, y'all would have heard that. Most of y'all would have got wind of that. So let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. How y'all feel about this, bro? How do you feel about Terrence Crawford sneakily evading Earl Spence and leaving that man out to dry like that after he, you know, sacrificing time? Like he said, I could have fought in November. How he sacrificing that man time like that, bro? You know what I'm saying? Because and, and, Earl Spence dedicated to giving the fans the biggest fight in the sport and the most important fight in the sport. Just so, every, just so all us can know who the best. Come on, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender Regime Boxing. I'll holler at y'all, boys, man.